One of the questions that gets asked all the time for the drummer series here is how do you click a drum and hear it? And also how do you see exactly what's being played whenever you're playing something back either within your drummer plugin or of course the uh, MIDI here. In, uh, in this case in Pro Tools, right? Well, it's a option that you have to check and it's not on by default. So come down here to options. Now right now we happen to have a modern drummer loaded up. Head to options, kit view, trigger on mouse click. Check that. Come back here to our kit page and now you click a drum, you'll hear it. Okay, now if I play back, we're still not seeing the triggers. That again is another option. And down to options, right here, show trigger states. Check that. Back to kit view. Now I click a drum, I hear it and see it triggered. See? All right, now if I play back, you'll see all of those drums being triggered. All right, same thing if I, uh, you know, play something from within here. All right, and that's exactly the same for all of the drummer series. So even 70s drummer click, don't hear anything, head down to options. Let's turn both of these on in one go. Now click. I can hear whenever I click. Of course, I'll see whenever I play back, same thing down here. Studio drummer, same stuff here, man. Options, trigger on mouse click, show trigger states, back to kit. All right, switch the snare here. Hear that. Very good, play back. See those triggers right there, right? Click something else. Click while it's playing back, you know, you can hear it too. Okay, so that is the answer to that question. One more time, options, trigger on mouse click, show trigger states, make sure they're both checked, and then you can actually see and hear your drums whenever you click them or whenever you're playing back. And of course, that's the same for all of your drummer series instruments here in contact.